hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem and here we have a square minus b equals to 73 and b square minus a equals to 73 and here we find the value of a minus b but here you remember one thing is that our a and b is distinct numbers so it is not equal and now uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first we call this equation as equation number one and we call this equation as equation number two and now uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we subtract equation number one by equation number two so that when we subtract these two equations then we obtain a square minus b minus b square minus a equals to here when we subtract 73 by 73 then we get here 0 so now here we uh, make little bit simplifications here and now uh, first we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and we get a square minus b minus b square so when we multiply this minus by minus then we get plus a and this whole equals to 0 so here we uh, combine uh, the square terms and uh, the the terms whose power 1 so that we have the square terms or the term whose power 2 are a square minus b square and we combine a and minus b and we write it as a minus b equals to 0 and now uh, in the next step you uh, see here we have a square minus b square so here we use the very uh, famous square identity and we know that it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and plus here we have a minus b equals to 0 so now in the next step you see here we have a minus b be the uh, common factor so that uh, we take it common a minus b and the remaining terms are a plus b plus here we get plus 1 and this whole equals to 0 so that uh, here we have uh, two cases uh, so our first case is uh, we take a minus b equals to 0 and the second case is we have a plus b plus 1 equals to 0 so in the first case you get a equals to b but here in the start of the problem uh, we are given that our a is not equals to b so that here we cannot choose this case so we just rejected this case because here we are given that a is not equal to b so now uh, we proceed this case and in this case we move this plus 1 to the right hand side and we get a plus b equals to minus 1 and now uh, we call this as equation number 3 and now in the next step uh, here first we uh, subtract equation number 1 by equation number 2 and now here we add equation number 1 and equation number 2 so when we add equation number 1 and equation number 2 so here uh, we see that our equation number 1 and 2 are so our equation number 1 is a square minus b equals to 73 and equation number 2 are b square minus a equals to 73. So now we add these two terms or these two equations and we get a square minus b plus b square minus a equals to 73 plus 73 becomes 146. So now here we rearrange the terms and uh, we write it as a square and plus b square and here we take common minus from this term and this term and we get minus times of a plus b equals to 146. So now uh, in equation number 3 we, we are given uh, or we have a plus b equals to minus 1 so we put the value of a plus b here and uh, we obtain 
a square plus b square minus we have a plus b is minus 1 and this whole equals to 146 so here you get minus times of minus becomes plus 1 and we move this plus 1 to the right hand side and you get the value of a square plus b square equals to 145 and we call this as equation number 4 so uh, here uh, we uh, we have uh, the uh, nice uh, square identity uh, which is in the form of we know that a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b so this is the very famous identity uh, we use it here and we have the value of a plus b is minus 1 and the value of a square plus b square is 145 so we use equation number 3 and equation number 4 here and we get the value of 2ab so here we write using equation number 2 and sorry equation number 3 and 4 so that uh, uh, in from equation number 3 and 4 uh, we put the values here and we get minus 1 square equals to the value of a square plus b square is 145 and plus 2 times of a b so this implies that uh, we have the minus 1 square equals to plus 1 and when we move this 145 in the left hand side then we get the value of 2 times of a b equals to minus 100 and 44 and we call this as equation number 5 so that here first we use the nice square identity which is a plus b whole square and now uh, we use the square identity which is a minus b whole square and you know that a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2 times of a b so this is the also famous square identity and here uh, we substitute uh, uh, equation number 4 and 5 so here you have the equation number 4 is a square plus b square is 145 and in from equation number 5 we have the value of 2 a b is minus 144 so we we'll use these two values here and we get the value of uh, a minus b so this is the our final destination so that we substitute the values here and we have a square plus b square is 145 uh, minus the value of 2 times of a b is minus 144 so that uh, we use uh, we add these two values and here you have minus times of minus becomes plus and we get 144 so that uh, when you add these two values then you get here 289 so when we take a uh, square root so in the left hand side you have a minus b whole square and now we take a square root on both of the sides and we get the value of and we get our desired value which is a minus b equals to plus minus 17 so this is the our desired value of this question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos